channel i say a very big welcome to all of you my subscribers and if you are new to this channel you are most welcome so in order to be part of this family all you need to do is just hit on that subscribe button below and also turn on the notification bell that is beside it so that you will get updates on any video i upload so that you'll be notified okay whenever i upload a new video you'll be among those that will be notified so thank you so much for being here so today i want to show you how to make your belt loop or your ball dress okay so don't have it only on ball dresses you also have it on your corporate wears. like this is a jumpsuit okay so i also have my belt loop on my jumpsuit okay so this is it okay so this enables your belt to stay in place and there's always good for detachable belt that's when, when you're using a detachable belt you have your loop holding your belt in place so this is it so i want to show you how to do this so now i also have it on my ball dress like you can see here okay so it enables the belt to stay on the dress so now i want to use a piece of fabric to show this to you and a contrasting thread so that to be clear to you so i have stitched it because normally the belt loop will be by the side of the dress okay so it will be by the side you will see it here one on this side and on the other side of the dress so it to be by the side where you have stitched your dress okay so that is why i have stitched this so that i can use it as an example to show you and you will always have it where you join the top and the lower parts okay so you you have it coming from there or you can also have it across like you can see on this one so the jumpsuit is joined here but you have the loop coming across so that is when you're making the loop for a dress like this okay for straight wears but when you're making for ball dress like this the it should start from in between the top and the lower part of the dress so now to, to do that i will use this fabric and i've passed my thread through my needle so i've thread the needle just the regular hand needle and i have not it okay so you might want to know like how long should your thread be it shouldn't be too long and it shouldn't be too short okay so now you place it here okay you can see the stitch so you just place it from under the dress and you bring it out from the dress by the time you have brought it out yeah you just make a stitch that's you just pass your thread again then you bring it out okay so we well, have not it here now so it's time to start making the loop so now what you do you pass your needle again just you know somewhere there just pass your needle by the time you have brought it out like this what you do is this you pull it you pull this one with this hand and just leaving a little here like this okay then you use this your hand this side you now take the thread so this is just a piece of fabric so that's why it's moving so what you do as you're pulling this one you're also pulling this other one like this okay so you just have it down just let it get down like this okay then you take again so this time around you pull this one you pull this one you take again 
so you can see what i'm doing so you just keep taking it like so okay you just keep taking it like so and as you're doing that you see the loop will start forming okay so you can see i have the loop already forming you can see so it looks like braid that is a braid we make on our hair so that is it so you can see what i'm doing just taking it like so okay so i'm just using this hand to support the fabric because it's just a piece of fabric is moving around so ordinarily as you're pulling this one this one too you should be pulling it gradually like so okay so you can see it's very very easy to do so you just keep going like this and as you're doing it you just size it as you watch and see if you have gotten the length of the loop you want okay and how do you do this you use your belt because before doing this you must have made your belt so by the time you have done it you just place it like so and you check if you have gotten the length so let's say this is my belt so i'll just place it like so so i, I need to do a little more so i'll just continue like so okay so i'll just continue until i've gotten the length i want so just gradually you can actually be fast with it if your fabric is in place so i'm just trying not to move this piece of fabric so i have it there okay so now i believe this is okay for my belt so this is okay so this is okay so by the time you have gotten the length of your belt or the length of the loop you want so what you do you go back now you take it that you now take all the thread in so this is a way of knotting it okay so i have knotted it now it can't lose so if you don't do this and you leave it if you just pull the thread everything just losing up okay to so just losing up now taking it and taking the thread back inside you just knot it so you now place it flat on the seam like so that is on this line of the mark of your seam you just place it flat hold it down there and now place your needle back inside okay so you place your needle back inside and you stitch so you go to the back and you just knot so you knot your thread and cut it out so now i'll just cut out the thread and i have my belt loop there so definitely you do this with a matching color thread so it won't show so you can you can see the belt loop okay and your belt to pass through it and i have it there so this is simply how to make your belt loop like you can see on our ball dress okay so you can see the belt being held down by the belt loop you can see this then on my jumpsuit on my jumpsuit you can see the belt loop so this is very close to the camera so you can see it okay so this is beautiful when you have it on your dress and you have your belt is it very easy to make okay so thank you so much for watching please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so and also turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos i upload videos on this channel every week and i have a video on how i made this boss plate okay so i'll be leaving the link in the description box below so that you can check it out if you haven't watched it so thank you and see you in my next video bye